Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. Can, can I ask you to be here with me? You see that Michael was visibly shaking. Knowing her and what she told me yesterday, this must not have been easy to decide to do. I want to ask her if it's too soon. I can already see that he's found, found the resource. Okay, okay, fine. Um, how do you feel about people drawing expl explicit material of you as, you know? Marco told us at me for a few seconds before breaking into plotter. That's what you were wondering? <laughs> well, it's fine, isn't it? My son is hella cute, after all. So that's how it is, went there. Eh? Yeah, I'm happy for both of you. I really am. It seems like she's on the path to realizing how much she actually means to the people around her. Mm hmm. How about you realize that same lesson as well? I get there some blame. Think that she went through all that by herself. She's a strange person, isn't she? For sure, and I think she's just recently learned one of the greatest things of all. What's that? The things to lie on others. Sounds a bit contradictory, doesn't it? I, I, you, you wouldn't would think that a strong person wouldn't have to lie on others, right? But not being able to rely on others can actually be a sign of weakness, not strength. You remember that one anime that we used to watch on television as kids? One of the lines was something along the lines of No person can stand alone. I'm surprised you remember that. Well, you could say it stuck with me. Despite, despite personally growing out of anime, I don't think I've grown out of a lot of the messages that they thought about. But anyway, I think it's true. Harming bonds and learning, leaning on each other are a part of what makes us human. Those bonds can be a part of our personal strength. Is that why the power of friendship always wins in an anime? I guess so. Either that or the writers are lazy and don't know how to resolve it in any other way. I'd rather fire we find our things to our own power and bonds rather than some poorly written cop cop out so I'm going to hope that real life isn't some garbage enemy. <laughs> well you would be laughing. I can hear Yoko's nest laughing through the film. I think if this was you from before you met Makoto, you would have preferred a cheap cop out as an easy way out. I think so too. Can't say it isn't still tempting though. I'm sure the answers will come to you in any time. And when they do, it'll be uh, the more rewarding that you took this path. I sure do hope so. Honestly, I'm really grateful I took this path. The experiences I've had, the things I've learned, the bond I've made with Makoto. I truly am grateful. Speaking of which, are you going to confess to Makoto? Uh, I mean, she probably already knows. I don't want to rush it either, especially with how I developed a lot of my feelings because of my unhealthy obsession. I can say I fully understand your feelings, but I feel like you're really unders underselling the value of the experiences you've had with Makoto thus far. Can you really say that the feelings you have are largely because you actually do love her? I don't know. Can this even be considered love? A lot of it was from a one-sided obsession born out of admir admir admiration and insecurity. I don't think that's how meaningful relationships are supposed to be formed. But even is love anyway. I barely know how I'm supposed to feel. I think we'll be up all night if we try to define that. I don't know if we can ever get to a point where we can fully understand our own feelings. Even if we did, I'm not sure if we would be able to accurately put them into words. You know, we'll just have to think really hard about what she means to you. What she means to me? At the very least, you aren't just thinking about being validated by being with her, right? 
can't say I've completely overcome those feelings, but I think I can say I like her for reasons past that. I like everything about her. She's an incredible person in so many ways. Maybe it doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. I don't think there's a right way that relationships are supposed to be formed. Same with being deserving of someone's love. Not like you do something specific and are suddenly deserving of someone's affection. I guess I'm making it sound really complicated. What I'm trying to say is that you trust her and want to be with her. Isn't it pretty clear that she wants to be with you as well? Isn't that in itself fine? I mean, she said she wants me to talk like the same path as her, but I'm not sure if she likes me romantically. If she doesn't, then what would our relationship become if we were to just, if I were just to confess to her? I can hear you're gonna let out a big sigh. I can't say your fears are completely unreasonable. Unreasonable. I guess there isn't really a need to rush things. You two can afford to take the time to figure out your feelings. But at the same time, make sure to use this time of your life well. For me, the time I spent on at college was dazzling. But if we marrow. I spent a lot of time goofing off and chasing after things that I shouldn't have. So make sure you think about things, alright? Yeah, I understood. I do remember when you were going off to college. You were talking about how you were going to have the time of your life and meet a wonderful boyfriend. I did, didn't I? I don't think I've ever found exactly what I was looking for. But I don't regret how things turned out. I think I'm a better person overall because of it. Sorry, I didn't notice. I was just a dumb kid back then. Wish I could have supported you in some way if you were going through your own struggles. Thanks, Shuma. But you already did a lot of for me. Just continue being the great person that you are, okay? Just doing that gives me a whole lot of strength. So don't feel about it. And maybe I can tell you about it when the time is right. Yeah, sure. I would love that. Is there anything I can help with going forward? So if it's relationship advice, I'm not sure how much I would be able to give. <laughs> I'm sure you'll give some interesting advice. I really do appreciate that you're reaching out. But I think I know what I have to do moving forward. I don't think I'm ready for a relationship yet. Maybe it's bad that saying that considering I'm pretty much in my mid late twenties and a lot of my friends are already starting to get married. There are a lot of things that I want to get started sort of before I feel like I'm ready to actively pursue a relationship. I'm insecure about a lot of things. I don't feel like I'm where I need to be financially and career wise. There are aspects of my appearances, appearance I want to improve. There's some mental and emotional struggles I want to overcome first. So many things I have to sort out. Life is just so busy and hectic right now. Honestly, listing it off like this makes it seem like I might never reach a point where I feel like I'm ready. You're already such an amazing person though. <laughs> thanks. But don't worry, I'm working through the things that I can immediately grasp and address. If someone I end up really liking would come into my life and accept me for how I am right now, that would be ideal. But I'm not going to rely on that. I'm going to work through the hurdles in front of me right now and create that opportunity for myself when I'm ready. I'm sure you'll find a relationship with someone who will accept and love you. <clears throat> but um uh page up but the way that you will not I hope so otherwise I'll never hear the end of it 
from our parents. Very true. Yukuni and I chuckled to ourselves. By the way, did you want to get dinner with us? Maybe tomorrow, so that you can meet Makoto? Are you sure? I would be happy to. But I know you're too RPC with the VTuber stuff. And I kind of want you to have some alone time together. It's fine. Makoto said she wants to meet you as well. Alright, just let me know tomorrow then. Sounds good. I'm going to head off for tonight then. Talk to you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow. I hang up my phone and fall back down onto my bed. I am fortunate, fortunate to have such great people around me. No, I shouldn't think like this, but it really makes me think that I'm not someone deserving of them. At the very least, I guess it makes me more motivated to become that kind of person who's deserving of their love. Yukon is going through a lot of her own struggles. It really is amazing that she's been able to support me despite her own issues. Maybe once this is all over, I'll try to reach out to her more and give back to her. What Makoto means to me, huh? I mean, how can I even begin to describe that? I can't even begin to explain the feelings I have whenever I spend time with her. I can never say for certain, but I'm confident that I would have fallen in love with her even if I hadn't known that she was Mana. Even if she doesn't think so, I think she's a beautiful, kind and strong person. She inspires me to become a better person of myself and to confront my own problems. Maybe I should just wait until after the anniversary. We're both kind of focused on that for now. I'll just get ready to sleep. Sister Connect. I find myself once again ringing the doorbell to Makoto's place, almost as if it's become my daily routine. The familiar sight of Makoto coming out to open the gate lays out in front of me. I think it w I would have gotten used to the sight of Makoto without having my heart race, but that isn't the case. Morning! Hey! Makoto gives me a warm smile before leading me into her house. Makoto takes a seat at her chair and turns it towards me. I take my seat on the floor. So, did you get to talk with a Aika last night? Yep, we talked for hours. We caught up on a lot of things. It was really nice. I was actually afraid I wouldn't be able to wake up in the time this morning since we talked into the night. Uh, well, you don't seem any more tired than usual. But I think your eyes have had a bit more life to them recently. You're probably imagining things. Maybe she's right. But she's definitely showing a lot more life in general compared to before. You know, I can tell she's smiling a lot more. It really makes me happy to see. Heh, <laughs> maybe. Oh yeah, my sister said she's free to eat dinner with us tonight. Oh, awesome. I really want to meet her. I think she's going to love you. Well, we'll see, but we have a lot of work to do, Don Dylan. I think we'll finish by dinner time, since I can offer to help with some of the work. That's great, I really am happy for you. Oh, what's all that about? It's nothing. So, what do you have for me today? Can you read from my submitted fan letters and pick out the ones I'll read on stream? Hold on, that sounds pretty important. Are you sure I should be the one to pick them out? Yeah, it makes me more interesting. When I read them on stream, I'll be able to show my life natural reaction. And I trust that you'll pick out some good ones. I don't think that I'll pick out some embarrassing ones for you to read. Do it and see what happens. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, you won't. You'll see. Don't say I didn't warn you. Andrew gives me a sly smile. Before turning in her chair and navigating through some windows on her computer. Send me your email so that I can give you access to the form and responses. Oh, sure. Pull up my phone to send Makoto my email address. In a few seconds, Makoto picks up her phone in response to the notification. She starts tapping on her keyboard. There, I have given you access. By the way, show us <laughs> 35. That's the name you go by on the internet. Is that just taken from your real name? I recognize it from my streams. Huh? You're lying, but I don't type in chat that much. But you've been sent some super chats before, right? 
Yeah, but I don't think I have sent too many. And it's not like I said anything notable. Oh yeah, do you want me to recite some of the things you said? Ah, uh, stop, I don't want to remember what I've said in the past. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you'll continue to support me as you've always have. I feel like I haven't really done much. That's not true. And regardless of how much you did, I think it's enough for you to just be here with me. Huh. Asking for a lot there, aren't we? But I can't do that. Gladly. Magdalene returns one last smile before turning to her computer to get started on her war work. I open my laptop and log on to my mail. I see the email that informed me that I was given access to Manus fan letter form. Oh, there's a lot here. I guess I can kind of see why the work needed to be split. This would have taken Makoto forever. <laughs> if I have time to go through all of these, I guess I can quickly filter out the non-serious responses. Hmm. Fan letter connect. <laughs> I spent the next few hours looking at various fan letters, covering just about every type of response I could think of. There were plenty of funny jokes, heartfelt words of support, and thankful comments. Fortunately, I didn't really see any unpleasant responses, but there were some that seemed uninspired that I could tell that the person was just trying to make a joke without really caring. Overall, the responses were overwhelmingly positive and supporting of one another. I ended up picking about 10 messages that I really connected with and I feel like Mat Makoto would be happy to hear. Plus one extra. Look over to Makoto to see her pussy at work. Within a video editing software I'm unfamiliar with. Lightworks! I don't really want to distract her. I guess I'll just sit back and watch her work. I lean back on the wall of the room and start to observe Makoto. Yuri is talented, isn't she? Even if she herself doesn't think so, it's hard for anyone to deny the work she's put in to get as good as she has at so many things. I could see that even before meeting Makoto, just as Mana, she was someone who was amazing in so many ways. But even, uh, but even someone like that can be going through their own internal struggles that they never show on screen. It really makes me wonder how many other VTubers that I watch could also be going through something similar. Ahem, <clears throat> no comment. Some of them do share their struggles with their viewers, but many of them also might feel like they shouldn't be bothering their viewers with their problems. Some might feel like their stream is a place of positive vibes, where people can escape from the birds that may tie them down outside of the stream. I don't think there's an objectively right way to go about it. Like there isn't a right way to stream. I don't even know how I should be approaching it as a viewer. It doesn't seem right to just assume they might be going through some tough times when they themselves wouldn't want me thinking about that. But at the same time, I don't think I should be insensitive, should, should be insensitive to their potential experience as a human being. Maybe I'm thinking about it too hard. Is it as simple as just watch and enjoy? Nothing more to it? No, I think that's disingenuous to the complexity of our experiences with media and people. There's nothing wrong with approaching streams like that, but there's definitely more to it than I can just immediately understand. People themselves as well as everybody else in chat are human beings like me. Yeah, really, really, this game. I say only this game is. It is an experience. Like Yukune said, you could all be lost in life, figuring things out. Maybe the best thing to do is to just be mindful of that and try to treat everybody as people. Seems so obvious, but it's easy to forget that there are humans behind the screen. Being the viewer, or the VTuber or streamer. My train of thought is interrupted as Makoto starts drawing and stretches her arms. She turns to me, looking bereft of energy. Did you finish? Yep, I picked out some v I thought would be good to read on stream and sent them to you through email. Awesome, thanks. Say, can I make a selfish request? 
Sure, what is it? Marcus stands up from her chair and starts walking over to me. Once in front of me, she turns around to face her back to me and sits between my legs. Well, she then leans back so that my body is supporting hers. Eh? I start panicking at the abruptness of Marcus's actions. Unsure of what to do. I have a selfish request. Can you hold me? I just want to be like this for now. I place one arm around her shoulders and place the other hand to rest on top of Makoto's head. Hmm. Eh, how's that? That's perfect. Thanks. Sorry about this. No, I like this as well. My, my couture lets out a sigh, so large that I'm afraid her soul might leave her body. I've been so tired. We've been through a lot the last couple of days. I guess she's been trying to stay strong for everything. We've done an amazing job so far. Not just the work I've done on the anniversary, it's everything that's happened in the past. So as fear of the future. I'm afraid of the future as well. I don't know if things will get better, but all we can do is face it together, right? Heh, <laughs> this is where you're supposed to tell me that things will definitely get better. Will you believe me if I said that? Probably not, but I'd appreciate it anyway. <laughs> alright, things will definitely get better. <laughs> thanks. Sorry for being so weak and selfish. You're not. I am, look at me right now. Should be able to take everything on, but here I am, having to ask you to comfort me. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to face everything alone. Even if this is the only thing I can provide for you, then let me help you. Thanks. This feels nice. Mm-hmm. I might start asking for this more often. Be my guest. We stay quiet, simply approaching, appreciating each other's presence and the warmth of human contact. I wish I could freeze this moment in time so that I can stay like this with my adult forever. This may just be a fleeting moment in time, but this mere grain of sand in my life means more to me than I can express in words. Shoma? Yeah, I'm here. Is this really okay? Yeah, I think so. I'll still here for as long as it takes to convince you that it is. So, forever? Well, if that's what it takes. Nah, there's still so many things that need to be done. But at the very least, let me stay like this for a little while. You could feel Makoto completely relax her body, using only me as support for her upper half. Close her eyes and places her head Right below mine. It looks completely torn and burned out. All the labor required of her, as well as the emotional energy that she expended the past few days, must be taking its toll on her. Hey, Shoma. Yeah? Why are some people so cruel? What do you mean? Did something happen? There were some comments about me that I read online. People are saying negative things? About what? And now there has to be some negative reactions somewhere, but I usually only see positive opinions. It's not too difficult to find negative comments. If I go digging, whether it be in unmoderated communities or just in some far corner of social media, people in most of the big communities won't express any negative thoughts because there are consequences. Some show their true thoughts and given complete anonymity and have any consequence taken away. But why? There will always be people who are dissatisfied. Do you have to go searching for those kinds of opinions? I don't know. I just don't want to upset people, even though I know that's impossible. I know you shouldn't be looking at those comments, but I don't know. Some of my fears are there. I just get curious. 
Maybe because I'm seeking validation. Some of my viewers are just completely obsessed over what I do. I really don't know why. I'm just a messed up girl. Don't say that. You have so much more value than that. No, uh, I really am just messed up. Because of people's obsession, they react strongly to every little thing that I do. Some just straight out express their love for me. Others are just completely spiteful or misconstrued any action because of their entitlement. You know how I ended the karaoke stream only because of what happened? Yeah. Well, instantly people started saying extremely negative things about me. I don't care about my viewers at all. If I would just end the stream all of a sudden, like that without explaining for anything. Or maybe that I'm just a self-centered person that will use streaming as a convenient way to manipulate people into giving me a quick buck and take a break when I want. <coughs> what? People are actually saying that? How can, can they even come to those kinds of conclusions? Probably because uh, content creation is, is quick money. Ahem. <coughs> That's not even the end of it. There are so many other comments that assume stuff about me. Some seemingly do it out of parasocial obsession. Like they can't go on without me streaming every day and will be upset if I don't stream. Some might just hate me and will grasp at any chance to dox me or try to twist narratives to make me look bad. Ah, oh, those kind of people come. Okay. It's just so wrong. Yeah. It's like I'm not a person to them. Makoto suddenly punches out into the empty air in front of her. Why are some people like this? How can they be so cruel? Can people just try and be nice? I'm only human. I have feelings too. Okay, personally I, I can only say those people just think, oh yeah, they're just an enemy character. I don't give you. I, they're, they're not the human. Well, Makoto's hand slowly falls back to her side, as if she used up the remaining reserves of her energy. People say it all the time. If you want to make it as a streamer, you have to be thick-skinned and be ready to handle negativity. But it still hurts me. No matter how hard I try to be indifferent, what, pe what people say, I can never fully bring myself to do that. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe I'm just weak. There's no way that's your fault. Anybody would be affected by negativity. It's awful that people say those things in the first place. It's just too cruel. I'm so sorry that you have to do with this. Come on, why are you the one apologizing? Well, I didn't write hateful messages, but I'm guilty for forming my own obsession and pushing my own expectations onto you. That's different. I get the... There are some things that people do naturally without the heal intent. But there are others that just completely disregard having any ounce of empathy. Michael Zool lets out another big sigh. I know I should focus on the positive parts of the community. But it's just... So hard sometimes. Again, the part the part of a community that is just negative is is small, but it's loud and annoying. Maybe one day those people will come to understand. Even if they don't, there's still so many people that support you. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. As long as I don't have to force it by myself. Mm hmm you're not alone. Thanks. Hey, Shoma. Yeah? I'm scared. What are you scared about? About a lot of things. What if I can't meet everybody's expectations? What if I end up hurting more people? What if people just continue to be heartless? There's so much that I still need to do and work on. How am I supposed to do it all? Well, will I ever be able to truly call myself a happy person? 
Will I even be able to give back the kindness that so many people have shown me? There are too many things that I don't know. So many things that I worry about. But so much uncertainty about how things are going to turn out and I have no idea what unforeseen events can happen. That's why I'm scared. Sorry, I don't have a good answer to those questions. Honestly, I'm scared as well. I've been having so much anxiety recently about the future and how my current self will be equipped at all to handle anything. Even right now, I don't think I'm ready to continue trying to take the necessary steps forward. Unfortunately, life doesn't seem to care it if we were ready or not. Yeah, cruel, isn't it? But even so, it might not all be that bad. Like, right now. Mm-hmm. Thanks for this. I think I needed it as well. Eh, we could switch places if you want. No, I think I'm fine like this. Being able to support you. I've been unsure of what I can provide for you. I know you've already told me multiple times that it's enough for me to just be here. But I want to be able to do more for you. I wish I knew the answers of or what the right thing is to say to you. I'm not even sure about myself. My insecurity eats away at me. I'm afraid you'll realize how worthless I am and leave me. I know I shouldn't think like that, but it's a thought in the back of my mind that haunts me. I try to sound confident and supportive, but maybe I'm just desperate to prove my worth. The reason I want you to help me like this isn't because I'm just looking to be helped by anybody. I want you to be to help me and be with me. I've mentioned this before, but you've done more for me than I think I could ever repay back. Even if you might not know it. There's someone special to me. Just by being here, support me, feel like I'm able to face tomorrow. So that will ask the rest of the future. So please don't feel insecure about your worth to me. I don't have to prove anything. I value Shoma, Shoma Hasegawa for all that he is. There's someone special to me. Thanks. There's someone special to me as well. Much of the tension that I was feeling starts dissipating. I'm not sure if I ever fully shake off my feelings of insecurity or I ever stop asking myself if it's really okay for someone like me to be with her. But I think that's okay. One more thing. Yeah? I'm sorry for telling you that you'll never come to understand me. I don't have to apologize. You were right. Don't say that. You don't understand enough for me to be happy. I've been thinking about it, and I've realized that the one who didn't understand me was myself. I don't even know if it's truly possible to fully understand myself, let alone others understanding me, or me understanding other people. I don't think that it's fully possible, but that's okay. I think maybe trying by itself is enough. Just trying is enough, then it sure doesn't feel like it a lot of the time. But at the same time, there are moments where I felt happy that people try to understand me. Okay, little this is something right now here because. Oh my god, how long is this? First of, second of. This <laughs> Mm, I would like to say stuff here, but I will not do it at the same time because brain has can't comprehend words. So, thank you for that. Huh, that's what I should be saying. Another thing I've realized, I never really fully understood you either, despite my best attempts. Sorry about that. Come on, you don't have to apologize. I'm glad that you tried. But still, maybe it ended up working out. I didn't understand your feelings, but because of that, we've ended up like this, which can be glad for. Yeah, I couldn't have predicted any of this either. Remind me that I really don't understand any of the other manifests either. 
You keep surprising me with your views as a fan. And I continue to wonder why I get the support I get. It's all the more reason that I'm thankful. That I've been given this opportunity and level of support despite my inability to understand. So, thanks again. Of course, I'm sure I'm able to speak for the rest of the Mana fans as well when I say this. I'll always be here for you. Paul Michael talked also to me and my unclosed my eyes. Appreciating each other's presence and warmth, sharing our vulnerabilities, accepting and being accepted. Okay, I need to pause here right now because my heart for some reason this sentence alone just my heart just it, it wants to feel this right now can you please give me a virtual hug of course roman sending you a warm virtual hug right now hugs remember i'm always here to support you Okay, okay, okay. I didn't expect that. I didn't fishing expect it at all. There, <laughs> yeah, I just literally said the thing that is happening. <sighs> okay. Okay, after this, I I will probably die. I don't know, actually. What are we gonna do? Brain is currently a bit... How can I describe what I'm feeling? All I can say for sure is that I wish we could stay like this forever. Connect. After some time, I feel my to perk her head up. Should we get going now? Isn't it near the time that we agreed to meet your sister? I think we still have some time, but I guess we should get there first so she doesn't have to worry for us. Hmm? Alright, let's get ready to go then. <clears throat> I wait for Makoto to get up so that she's no longer leaning on me, but she doesn't move. Um, I think you need to get off me first. I'm having trouble finding the motivation to get up. Help. <laughs> Uh, what am I supposed to do here? I don't know. Do something. I can template for a moment before deciding something I might regret. Help! I place my hands on Makuzu's waist and start tickling her. Hmm. <laughs> ah, the old tickle tactic. Makuzu immediately makes a sound that I've never heard from her before and jumps up. She turns around her face red with what I assume is both anger and embarrassment. You really want to get smacked, don't ya? <laughs> feels familiar. That feels familiar. Even if it will make her angrier, I'm unable to contain my love that direction. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't help myself. I'll accept my punishment. Hmm, what should it be? Slap on the butt. Maybe I'll have you come as a Deboku. Or maybe I'll ban you from my stream. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Seppuku, maybe. But banning from my stream, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that goes so far. <laughs> Please, I'll take this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say here. Uh, wouldn't you not be able to watch my stream if you're dead? It's about the message. Being banned means that, well... I mean, when I'm dead, then yes, I can see your streams, but then the, you will be the last person that I see. If I, if you ban me from your stream, however, then I'm still alive. 
but can't watch your streams, even though actually you you, you can't just chat in the chat anymore. Um, anyway. Sure, okay, let's go before I actually decide to smack you. Uh, yes, ma'am. Pants connect! <laughs> <laughs> 